Hi, Dave Vollmer here with Isolator Fitness, and today I just wanted to show you the difference between a six-pack fitness elite Voyager backpack and the Isolator Fitness ISO pack. Um, we can get a lot of questions about this, so I just wanted to show the products side by side. Number one, the Elite Voyager backpack uh, from Six Pack. $249, made in China or Taiwan, overseas somewhere. The ISO pack, right now I believe it's retailing around $160, uh, made right here in the USA. 15 pounds is the weight on this thing, empty. Um, seven pounds here on the ISO pack. Now the big difference between the two, this is the part that where functionality comes in at Isolator Fitness. Because here we have some three ring binders. Um, everybody's, you know, people are in school, people travel in and out to work. I cannot put these inside an Elite Voyager backpack. I can't even put my standard notepad inside here. Now, you could put something in the laptop holder, but that's designed for the laptop. So you run out of space, how do you carry your stuff with you? Uh, so when we designed the ISO pack, we designed it for functionality. So we have a big spot up here that it'll hold all of this, plus you can still get gym clothes in there, sneakers, you know, all kinds of different things. Open up the Voyager backpack here. It comes with uh, five of these Sure Seal containers. Um, they're 20 ounce containers. They're also manufactured overseas. So you get five of those, and then they give you one extra container, uh, the sixth one with, uh, I guess for vitamins is what the, the claim to fame here is. Uh, the ISO bag opens from the side. Now the ISO bag does not have a rack system like the Elite Voyager system here does, because that's a uh, uh, patent pending uh, with uh, Six Pack Fitness. So we just use stackable containers. Um, with the ISO pack, you get eight containers. You get two 12 ounce, two 16 ounce, two 28 ounce, and two 38 ounce. They are BPA free, lead free, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, freezer safe, and uh, you know, I, me personally, I've been using mine for over two years, the same containers, and I microwave them and dishwash them every day. But what's nice is they sleeve together really nice. So in your cupboard, you can make it stack real nice. When we try to do this with a sure seal container, it's, it's a little more cumbersome. You can see there's a big difference in size and, and functionality here when you have this, these at your house preparing them uh, for food prep. All right, next I'd like to talk about where the laptops go in both bags. The Elite Voyager backpack um, has a spot on the top that drops in, and the ISO pack has a spot right here. Also, we have another pocket on the inside for an iPad. Next thing we're going to go on to is the cooling function of the bag. I want to show you the difference. I ripped this out of the Voyager. It's two pieces of packing foam with a piece of plastic. That's what was up here in this top part above where the ice pack goes. This is what we use. We do use a piece of foam. This is just to add structural rigidity to the product. And then we use two pieces of needled insulation. Now this comes out of North Carolina. Each piece has an R value of approximately 2.1. So together, you know, we're looking at a 4.2 R value. This adds tremendous capacity to hold the cooling inside the bag. Where this foam, there is no cooling capacity or, or, or anything. There's no insulating value to this fabric at all. All right, well that sums that up. So I'm Dave Omer again with Isolator Fitness. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need any more information or if you'd like to buy, come to isolatorfitness.com.